Predators. Uh, so you guys are close at all. Hop right in there. And uh, come to the monthly, man. It's, it's crazy. It's super fun. You get eliminated. You can go buy beer at California Pizza Kitchen. Uh, as long as you're 21 pizza or older. Pizza Kitchen? Or California Pizza Kitchen, man. I am not old enough to drink. Why not? Four months away. Dude, Four that's months. so close. I hated that age because it was just like, dude, why? I mean, we'll say legally. <laughs> there you go. So it's a uh, game one between Pug West and Mex. Mm -hmm. Now, uh... Lucas has a lot more uh, fun in this game playing as Marth. <laughs> yeah, he definitely wins this matchup. Uh, Pugwas actually complains about it uh, whenever he has to fight Lucas, especially Mars's. Well, you know what's funny, too, is actually I was watching the uh, the Beast stream this weekend, right? And I was watching I Studying, right? Which is amazing. Yeah. yeah, oh, my God, he's so good. But I was thinking about, like, Mars and, like, his run, you know, through Genesis. And, <laughs> and like, a good point, like, like to his, like, credit, like, he, he beat uh, Hayuga, right? That's, the, that's a really good tune link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and it was like, how did he do that? Like, it doesn't make any sense. You know, Mars, up until that point, relatively kind of unknown still. You know what I mean? Like, where did he get this experience? Toon Link, like, no one plays as Toon Link. Yeah, where people did he get from this his region new, but Exactly. Outside. That's what I'm saying. Like, in this region, you get the craziest practice against the weirdest characters. We have the best Marth in the world, arguably, like, um, sitting on stream right it's now. It's not even arguably anymore. <laughs> Puck has ran the data, and he has outplaced uh, all the other Marths. Of course he has. It's amazing. Oh, that was smart. That was tech, yeah, right? he took yeah he took the hit to save the stock. So that's what you like to see. So you get you know you got the best Marth in the world. How many Lucas and Ness mains? How many Fox mains? Like a great Lucario. Like there's a bunch of good Sonics. Like you're just getting great experience. There's so many good great players here with all sorts of different characters. Yeah, we got, what I'm saying. We got Robs too. Represent. Oh my god. Represent. Yeah, tons of Robs. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Two, have, three, two, three like, great Robs. We have like seven in New England actually that are like. You know, good players. I thought that would be a forward smash right there. I wasn't sure if it would reach. Pug would know better than me, though, so. Max is doing a really good job in this matchup. Actually. Yeah, man, definitely. Pug catches him with the tip of the nair coming back on stage, and that's going to be it. That's going to do it, yeah. Dude, that grab is so good. That buff was like, I want to say it was unnecessary, but he had no representation before that um, buff. It was good. Other than Pink Fresh, yeah, it literally it Fresh, boosted yeah. him so much. And oh, which is hilarious because Pink, Pink Fresh immediately, not immediately, but Pink, Pink Fresh recently dropped Lucas. The second, Bayo. the second that Bayo came out, dude, he's like, oh, yeah, it was the first. That was the first weekly she came out, huh? I'm gonna win two Xanadus. <laughs> he went and did that. Now the Zare, and I don't know if you've seen it a couple times. Yeah, like that. Um, Pug specifically hates that matchup because of the Zare and Lucas's jab. Like that. Yeah, Lucas's jab is so good. Yep. It confuses me. Like, why does it outrange this guy with a sword? But it does. It's somehow. so good. Yeah, I get caught by it all the time. Uh, well, actually, technically, the best player on Rhode Island is Mars, but you know, yeah, Puck's Max also super really good. Yeah, good Max, job. Max looking crisp right now, man. He's definitely, you know, he's using. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it's like, cause he got it. You know, Pug, Pug's oh. got. Uh oh, he's living, and Pug almost dying. Yeah, Pug did a good job. He saw he was behind by a little bit, and had to go for something kind of crazy, so he went for a counter right there. It was good. Yeah, every time Max is rolling, though, he is getting punished. Oh, good back there. And this might be the stock because of the counter. No, oh, he that's too the bad. Yeah he, yeah, he misses that right there. So good, yeah. It was a good recovery by Net Max too, because he didn't go right for the corner, which is probably what you know everyone was expecting. Great conversion off of that Zare. Dude, he's so tricky with that up B. Uh, he'll he'll make you think he's flying right at you, and then he'll just curve around here with a tail and catch right. you with the rest of it. Yeah. Now one up throw from Lucas is gonna do it. So yeah, uh, yeah. You got another bolt thing to grab right here. Yep. That was nice. Good spacing by Pug. Oh, oh the instant Trump. Really close to oh, Trump and that tipper. Stuff. That was good stuff to Pug. Uh, hold the composure right there. Uh, and Max with the unfortunate SD uh, in the first stock. Who knows yeah. how much extra credit he could have got out of that because he was definitely, you know, pulling ahead I pretty far like at that point. He could have gotten a decent amount. But yeah. One thing about um, uh, that what was interesting about this matchup is, like, even if Lucas or Ness, those two characters specifically, are off, like, they're, they're not at a super high percent, let's say, like, 60. Yeah. Even if you get them off stage in any position, it's danger. It's it's danger. It's danger. Them. Yeah, like big no, time. No matter what character you play, mm -hmm. I don't know what character couldn't punish their recoveries. Yeah, the recovery. Yeah, it's super easy. You literally just follow it with your eye. Like it's not that quick. You know? Yeah, it's not that quick. Especially Lucas's, even though it goes far. Yeah. In this matchup, it's definitely easy for him to camp. And yeah. And the trick for them too is that a lot of good Lucas and Nesses, you know, like Max does, save the double jump, and especially Lucas got the tether grab. You know, that's so good too. Mm, definitely helps out. Definitely helps a lot. Yeah. And tarps. What's up, dude? Interesting counter pick to uh, Omega here. I figured that Lucas would want uh, platforms. I thought his nair strings worked better that way. But man, if I was saying I would have run it right back, you did really, really well on the stage. Unless, unless he did. Pug countered it, man. He might have too, just to get you know what I mean. Sometimes you do that, like yo, I barely won on that stage. I'm gonna counter pick. I'm gonna ban it though, just because. This yeah. is one time I played Wave, 
and uh, I won the first game, and I banned Dreamland, and then the next game he won, and then I took him to Dreamland after. He's like, dude, did you just <laughs> did you ban that stage and then pick it the next time? I was like, yeah, absolutely. I switched to Meta Knight, though. So. All right, Pog is actually, uh, every time Max is trying to land, he's calling it out, and he's doing a really good job of following up. See, there's another bad position. Does not want to be off stage, but that Zare gets him back to stage pretty safely. Definitely, man. That Zare is pretty hard to punish, actually. I mean, it was really quick. Yeah, Zares are like a really, I mean, nobody says they're bad, obviously, but they're kind of like an underrated option in this game. People don't really realize how, because there's not many characters with them, how good of an option Yeah, that's are. a great fit. I mean, Marth looks pretty good against it, though. Yeah, oh, it's going to be the stop. man. No. Almost gets the spike right there. If he times this right, yeah, there you go. Good yeah, angle. Like, ooh, we almost re returned the favor of the spike right there, actually. Oh, that's no, up there. No, no up there, okay. He, he'll know. That's Sorry. the thing with Pug, man. He knows. <laughs> He's not going to blow an up throw, you know. See, doesn't want it to get stale. We saw right there the Zayr doing mm -hmm. a good job of mixing up the recovery, just hanging low nice. before uh, going up to the ledge. That's mm -hmm. really scary for both of these guys. Yeah, it looks like Max is doing a good, or I'm sorry, it looks like Pug's doing a good job uh, zoning out actually against the uh, the dash grab and the standing grab. Rolls everywhere. He's just barely standing out of the rage of it and then punishing him with the That's probably going to be it? No. Oh, nice mash out. Pummels too much. Up, oh, that'll do it, do it, yep. He knew. See, that's why he held on to the first one, man. He did that again and it wouldn't work. Now, this is still kind of scary for Pug. Um, Lucas gets a, a, a good uh, conversion off of uh, his tilts, or maybe mm -hmm. even a, a grab. He might be able to do this. I'm not sure if down throw up air will connect. That was now. good patience. Oh, nice fair. Nice nice answer right there by Max. All right, PK freeze. Interesting oh, nice answer there, dodge, yeah. See, now Max, or I'm sorry, but Pug, Pug will give you that one right there. Like, he'll, he'll do the jab, yell air dodge the first, forward smash, and the next time he's going to charge it, he's going to temper you and kill you at like zero. Oh, in less than 30 seconds, Pug has taken a yeah. great amount of extra credit. He's, he, you know, he did a great job utilizing the side B a ton right there, and it really, it really helped him uh, zone against, you know, Zares and all that stuff. Now this sounds maybe dumb, but the side B, the dancing blade that Marth has, that does uh, utilize Tipper as well. 